Life often takes a funny turn, doesn't it? Some of us live our lives bored, restless, and others seem to be born into adventure. But how do those people end up? Take a 13-mile drive up a nondescript backwoods road just outside of the quaint Pocono town of Milford, Pennsylvania. You'll finally run out of road and reach a clearing on top of that mountain. And in the clearing, you'll find the modest, hidden log cabin belonging to Daddy-O Sugar. Step inside to his man cave, and you'll see the vestiges of a man seemingly trapped in time. A man with a discerning taste in decor. A man devoid of ego and self-awareness. Almost childlike. But how did it all start? Uh, most kids are dropped off orphaned in a uh, firehouse or a police precinct. Uh, I was dropped off at the steps of Fitzgerald's Casino in downtown Reno, Nevada. And uh, the rest, uh, so they say, is uh, foggy. <laughs> in the mid-1970s, a man named Lyndon Fitzgerald opened Fitzgerald's Casino in Reno for a mere bag of shells, 16 million shells to be exact. Young Daddy-O was abandoned one day by his parents on the doorstep of Fitzgerald's Casino. Some say his parents bet him on a high-stakes roulette game, but the people who currently own what used to be Fitzgerald's Casino deny such a notion. I came of age there, I would say. Uh, hey, I've been asked, did you grow up there? Okay, okay, I grew up there. But uh, coming of age, that's what I want to say the casino did for me. I mean, who deals blackjack when they're seven? <laughs> yeah. When I could count to 21, and everything else over that was a bust. They you know, blackjack, you know, blackjack pays two to one, and the house always wins. That's what I grew up on. If that's what I came of age with, that's what I came of age with. And, he, and focus. Mr. Fitzgerald didn't care. You would, you would, yeah, uh, no, you would no, be he, dealing he at a table and a then leave on the lunch break and not come back till tomorrow. And Nothing. he wouldn't give you a hard time. With no malicious intent. He understood. To be honest. He understood you. He said he you're. Got me. Yeah. And he gave me <laughs> countless chances. <laughs> 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 You're getting choked up there, Daddy O. And I, how did I find him? That's that's uh, it's like a two-part uh, answer to Jeff that. Jeff Burnett. I found him initially. Is the genius behind the new hit product, The Big Box of Magic, from Breaking Games. He saw Daddy O during an open mic night at a comedy club. This would prove to be Daddy O's first and last performance for the adopted son of a casino owner. Sold a joke that ran. A shade too blue. Some documentary on Reno and uh, Fitzgerald's Casino in the heyday. And I see this little, I don't know what, uh, for lack of a better word, of golf cart in the background. And what looks like Daddy O's Sugar is driving. And on the side, in neon lights, it says Daddy O's Mustache Rides. When I blew up the picture. So there you go. I blew up the picture. I looked up Daddy O Sugar. I finally found his ass with the help of my assistant. And, uh, you know, well, the rest is history, but uh, I'm glad I did. I was a ladies' boy. I, I mean, obviously, I grew up a little faster than most guys would grow up. So, uh, yeah, yeah, I was a ladies' man. I was a ladies' man. Sadly, tragedy would strike in Daddy O's life when his adopted father, his rock, Mr. Fitzgerald died of a spastic colon. That pesky colon. But every cloud has its silver lining. Daddy O Sugar was now the sole heir to the Fitzgerald fortune, and ownership of the casino fell to him. But his position as captain of that great gambling ship would be short lived. For only a year later, Daddy O sold. I didn't run anything, okay? I was given something. And I was unable to follow through. 
this this is upsetting for you. I don't know if I was supposed to finish out the marathon, you know. And with his windfall profits, he realized a dream and built Daddy-O's house. He here at the uh, Ronald McDonald house, which is uh, off the charts. This circuit is Daddy-O's house, paid for by Mr. Fitzgerald's money. But uh, let me tell you, there ain't no 401k for a guy with a top hat and a bunny. And there's no 401k for a dealer that can draw bust every time, left and right, left and cold, Papa Do, Mama Yo. So what I did here is I got a place where all these guys, they come up, all these gals, they come up, they stay with me. They work a little bit. I don't ask them to work. I don't tell them to work. They want to work. And we hang out. And I'm like, uh, Willy Wonka, the Donka Donkas. <laughs> Whoever that is, I don't know. Hot gardening, I go out there in my little tracks and catch the dirt around the rack. And I garden only with a pickaxe. Gardening with a pickaxe, hard gardening. In 2016, Jeff Burnett finally approached Daddio and offered him the job of a lifetime. I don't need to work, but when he asked me to be the spokesmodel for the Box of Magic, come on! Who wouldn't want to travel the world be a spokesmodel for the big Box of Magic? Uh... That's a spokesman, not a spokesmodel. Uh, he came up with this spokesmodel shit. I didn't ask him to be a spokesmodel. He's our spokesman. The big Box of Magic is a revolutionary new magic kit that makes learning over 61 classic and new tricks easy for everyone. Everyone, from a child to an ancient retiree. And it's available at bigboxofmagic.com. The reason uh, I fell in love with this guy is the same reason everybody's fallen in love with this guy. And I know I made the right decision having him be our spokesman, spokesmodel. Uh, a half day went by, hours went by, he's telling me these stories and he's regaling over this character that he met and it was in his life, Lawrence Tarode. Lawrence Tarode gave me this, Lawrence Tarode gave me that. You know who freaking Lawrence Tarode is? Mr. T. He could have told me Mr. T, nine o'clock in the morning, five o'clock at night he tells me, yeah, Mr. T. That's why I love this guy. What's that? <laughs> this is a... It's like a replica of Flavor Trudeau. Flav. What was that? Lawrence Trudeau <laughs> gave me this in Reno. Oh, that's right. Uh, Mr. T. Yeah, Mr. T. Mr. T. Right, right. right. This okay. is a gift for Mr. T. All right. Okay. Replica. So, 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 there's so many things to remember about Daddy O'Shaughnessy. Right it's hard that's to. Right. You know. I know you guys had a lot of guests since yeah. I was here. Yeah, yeah, we have. Okay, uh, another magic trick from the big box of magic. This is a trick I do with cups and balls. Okay, three balls, three cups. Watch this. Here you go. Take my cups. Boom, boom, boom. Like this, eh? Boom. Cuckoo! Okay, here we go now. Cover that ball. Here we go. Cover this one. Wow, y'all! Two ball grand finale. This here, okay. Oh, yeah! In the end, Daddy O Sugar is ready for whatever turn his life takes. He's not content to just live off his fortune in a state of sloth. No, Daddy O has more work to do with Daddy O's house and the big box of magic. So, where do I see this going? <laughs>